Did I break stream? Uh, no, I'm still here. Just give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna switch over. No, that's not the cats. Just gotta adjust some things. Okay. This one? Okay, I think it's this one. Hell yeah, you do. It's the battle theme from uh, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. No, it's not Punch Out. <laughs> It's Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! <laughs> also known as Final Fantasy USA in Japan. Now you should play the, final, the 13 remake to show how bad it is. Dude, that was the saddest part of when I heard that the 13, uh, 13 was getting remade. As soon as I saw the art style, I'm like, no, come on, man. The 13 trilogy is getting a remake. Oh man. That's uh that's interesting honestly. You haven't played Mystic Quest? Oh, you're asking if it's getting a remake. Oh no, no, no. We what we were talking we weren't talking about Final Fantasy 13. We were talking about a uh, first person shooter back from the early 2000s that had a very comic booky cell shaded aesthetic and starred uh, David Duchovny and uh, Adam West and then they remade it very recently and it was very bad <laughs> because it missed the point of like the original art style altogether Which is, like, the saddest thing fucking possible. Because that game lived and died by its art style. And the remake was just like, we're not doing that. Everything looks more realistic now. But your idea is interesting, too. It would be kind of, uh... You haven't played Mystic Quest? It's fine if you haven't played Mystic Quest. Look, Mystic Quest holds sort of a weird, special place in my heart. Because, on the one hand, I do kind of... Un I do know and understand that it's not a very good, like, RPG. They made it specifically because they didn't think Westerners could understand their more complex RPGs. Thus why we didn't get Final Fantasy V in America until the PlayStation. But, uh... <laughs> it is essentially like a beginner's RPG. And as such, when I was a kid, it was the first RPG I ever actually completed. Wasn't the first one I played. I think the first one I actually played was, uh... Actually, I can't remember. I think it might have actually been Final Fantasy IV. Because I remember renting that first. 
and Final Fantasy IV fucking destroyed me. <laughs> and then I went back and I rented Final Fantasy Mystic Quest because the Super Nintendo the cartridge said Final Fantasy II, so I thought Mystic Quest might have been Final Fantasy One. I. I tried that instead, and it was much easier. And I just have good memories of it, and it was very nostalgic. First RPG for you is Dragon Warrior. Too young and dumb to figure it out on your own. I get you. We're alive. We made it. It's our lucky day, V. Let's go find a game of cards. These Glypod roots. They're everywhere. Well, we are underground. Then I guess we have some clearing up to do. And me without game wasn't gosh. very straightforward. <laughs> no, my favorite part. Are you talking about Dragon Warrior? Or Final Fantasy X. <laughs> the hints were very misplaced. Yeah. Dude, that was like one of the ad campaigns they ran for that it was like the scratch and sniff uh magazine page with the little stink uh stink monster guy on it they're like this game stinks <clears throat> i'll have to play mystic quest one of these days <clears throat> and show you guys that while it's a very easy and stupidly simple game. Also, sometimes it's really easy to die in that game for like no particular reason. Oh hey, thanks for the bits, Zero. Have some bits. Okay. Because <laughs> I got the reference. At your pleasure, Gaucho. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Hold on a second while I fucking try to remember how to do shit real quick. You get an illusion of Gaia. Oh, dude, uh, Illusion of Gaia was one of my other, like, very favorite games for the Super Nintendo. Dude, I played the shit out of that game. Rest in peace. I never, uh, I didn't have Soul Blazer, and I've only ever played, like, a tiny, I've only ever played a tiny bit of Soul Blazer, or Terra Nigma, but I owned Illusion of Gaia, and I played that game a bunch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> in Europe, they got Terra uh, translated version of Terra Enigma, but we never got that in the U.S. No, it, when I do another like long form RPG, I think I, I think I already know what I I want to do. Here we got Final Fantasy three, two, Chrono Trigger, or Earthbound. Oh, uh, you guys didn't get. Uh, oh, when you say three, you mean like six, right? So you didn't get four, six, Chrono Trigger, or Earthbound. <clears throat> I was thinking, I kind of. Uh, it's been a while since I played them. I kind of want to play through one of the Lunar games again. I 
love those games. At least the first two. Never played Lunar? Uh, I like the second Lunar more than the first one. I mean, it, the one with the flying cats that always... Oh, wait, you may not know. <laughs> Spoilers, then. Okay, yeah, the one with the cats. <laughs> I have a bigger affinity for the second Lunar game than I do the first one, but the first one's pretty good too. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! why did I do that? Cool, I'm on fire and I'm burning to death. Can I, okay, I can dodge around to put out the flames. Interestingly, there's actually a few different versions you can play of, like, Lunar 1. One of them was apparently on the, uh... forget if it was Sega Saturn or Sega CD. I think it might have been Sega CD. Or maybe it was Saturn. But it had slight differences from the, the PlayStation version. And then, uh, at some point they made a Game Boy Advance version which the Game Boy Advance version had to kind of cut down on some of like the uh, it couldn't have the cinematics that the uh, PlayStation version did so that was basically reduced to like still images most of the time But if I remember right, I think generally the whole game was there. I actually did have the GBA version a long time ago. And then the sadly, uh, after the second game, the series kind of uh, was never good again and died off. Because they made a... Uh, They made a Lunar sequel for the DS when that system first got started. It was called Lunar Dragon Song. And... God, that game was awful. I only ever played, like, I bought it. Because I'm like, alright, Lunar! And I played a bit of it, and I ended up hating it. What kind of game makes you choose between... Uh, getting loot that you can sell for money and getting experience. Lunar Dragon Song, that's what. <laughs> yeah, it was very upsetting. <laughs> you had to switch. It was like a, a mode thing you had to switch between. The game would either allow you to get experience from battles, or it would allow you to get items you could sell. But you couldn't get both. Which was weird and dumb. And I quickly lost interest in that game. Kind of weird that the DS ended up having... Uh... A few sequels to like RPG series that just kind of ruined them a little bit. Are the stories different? Uh, Lunar 2 is basically a sequel to Lunar 1. I mean, you can play it without having played the second one or the first one, and the game will kind of give you the cliff notes of what you need to understand. But, uh, there are, like, story beats and stuff that carry over from the first one into the second one.
So yeah, Lunar yeah. 2 would make a whole lot more sense if you played the first one first. I played the second one first. I went back and I played the first one, and I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I see why these things were important. Or why I was supposed to be like, ooh, that guy. When he showed up in Lunar 2. Though, to my knowledge, as far as I made it in, the DS one has nothing to do with any of the other ones. Back. Welcome back, Zero. You want to play through the last Bible trilogy? Right on. I did end up watching through that uh, Marsh Guys video on it. That was pretty fucking wacky, honestly. <laughs> Oh, AVGN's review of uh, Earthbound. I haven't actually watched any of like AVGN's new stuff in a really long time. <laughs> oh hey, thanks for the follow. Avalio Five, <laughs> appreciate it. Of his seasons playlist. Well, I remember watching through a bunch of his old seasons a lot. I liked a lot of his old stuff. Not that I don't like his newer stuff, I just haven't really taken the time to actually sit down and watch any of it. I don't really know what my problem is with it. <laughs> Like, everything just... I don't know. It's just one of those things where... Hey, what's in that hole? Should we take a look? I'm a little bit afraid that, uh... I'm a little bit afraid that... Like, the old episodes always felt like they flowed pretty naturally. But... I'm almost afraid to watch his new stuff because I'm afraid that it uh, won't be as good because he'll just be trying to constantly top himself. If that makes sense. This way, I guess. And I'm not even saying that that's what's happened. I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. A little paranoid and weird about it as well. I like the feel of his old stuff. Probably just like get over myself and actually watch some of it. From the sounds of it, it's still really good. Alright. Enjoy the taste of this. Enjoy the taste of this. 
taste of despair. Some of my favorite AVGN videos was when he did like the whole, uh, like, was it a trilogy or a quadrilogy? When he did a whole like set of videos just on like Castlevania and stuff. Those are probably some of my favorite ones. SMT1 starts tonight. It's cool. Yeah, I saw that. Skelly Man's back. Hey, Skeletor. Been a while, man. I hope life's been treating you okay. It was a Halloween special. Yeah, I, I remember. I'm glad to see you around. Just been busy with stuff. Oh, I totally get that, man. <laughs> nah, come on. He's just had life gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> that is all that broke him. See what Zelda has done to him. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild, really ruined him. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure he'll be back when he's comfortable with it again. When he has time for it. Whenever he's ready. All that really matters. Oh, did he brute force a puzzle? Basically. <laughs> Give a little call to the to the band. Hey, I could use a hand. Isn't this the one where it comes out of the ground? <laughs> I used to say in the game was dumb, launched the ball, and it went where it needed to. I remember one of the uh, shrine puzzles in that game where you have to use motion controls actually does work better if you flip the whole maze that it has over on its back and just use that to try to slap the ball where you need it to go. I do remember that. This boss is a pain in the ass, even with V. But I'm afraid it still concerns me. Yeah, <laughs> he killed that puzzle. I cannot take any chances. Do you understand? Find it and destroy it. Only then will his name be truly realized. Ha <laughs> ha. 
didn't die. It was murdered! Dude, I just realized, V, are you wearing fucking sandals, man? <laughs> she has no dips. Okay. I see. I know what you are. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. <laughs> if she doesn't have nips, there can never be nip slips. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Oh no 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 no! Power to control time. That's quite a horse. Yeah, you know what? Uh, stay away from me. <laughs> oh, Tom's been playing this game too. Did V just say bruh? <laughs> I swear he was like, bruh. You finished DMC5? Oh, fuck yeah. Right on, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Stay, stay away from me. No, no. Back away. Did you know how fights are supposed to go with V? You're supposed to, you're supposed to stay away while I pick at you from the... <laughs> Dude, fighting bosses with B just reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to play Devil May Cry 1. And I just stand at a safe distance from the bosses and slowly chip their health down with just the handguns. playing as V as it felt like a chore. Well, I mean, boss fights with V feel like a chore. Because I don't feel very involved in this fight. Like, quite honestly. The rest of his combat stuff is fairly brain-dead simple. Dante and Nero are awesome, but here's be your homework for the day. No, 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 no. I swear he's like, bruh. This is just the PS4 one. At your pleasure. But I mean, I've pretty much got all like the DLC and stuff for it. Okay. 
So I I do have like uh, Virgil and uh, like all the other stuff. Oh yeah, belly flop. Fuck you. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, get him. Get his ass. I keep forgetting that I left that being so large. <laughs> it's still not enough. He's still alive. He's also angry now. <laughs> I should make all of them large like that. <laughs> take him to Detroit. <laughs> yeah. No! Yeah. Let's take this guy to fucking Detroit. Uh, bada bing! Finish him off with summoning my fucking familiar as a meteor. Die. Die. Good deal. That guy's more of a chore than a challenge. <laughs> He doesn't want to go to Detroit. He's running away. I must chase him. Can we talk spoilers? Yeah, I don't mind if you talk spoilers, Sheds. Well be uh, I've beaten this game before. You gotta be strong in mind and body to wield the Sparta, and you, sir, are not. Hate to break it to you, but the Sparta will just be too This game's been out for a few years, I feel like. For me, yes. And plus, there's been plenty of memes about it, so... Most people should already know where this game is headed. Virgil in his fucking plastic lawn chair. <laughs> Let's go. Once we are near the Sparta, even I should be able to sense its presence. So yeah, B is basically Virgil's pretty much pure human part. <laughs> if Virgil was a human, he'd basically be an emo sad sack. <laughs> Disappointed! <laughs> Disappointed indeed. But why does he look like Adam Driver? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah to be fair they did ask i'm okay with spoilers i've beaten this game before ain't spoiling anything for me oh i know who adam driver is he's the dude who played kylo ren I don't have a whole lot of arms left. Let's fix that. <laughs> uh, take a mega buster arm. Let's take a pasta breaker. Um. 
punchline taken overture. Alright, and we'll leave two spaces open so I can find some along the way. You want a pasta break? This game is edgelord the game. <laughs> No, no, no. The dev the DMC game that basically counts as like a brooding edge lord game is fucking Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> Where they tried to turn uh Dante into kind of a brooding anti-hero almost and it just didn't work because people love Dante. Dante's at his best when he just like doesn't give a shit and is it just there to have fun because dmc dmc the dmc <laughs> well oh by the way my <laughs> got a pretty smoking body though when i uploaded my first stream of this on youtube not that i was I, it's not published yet it will be though but you know, it got a copyright claim and i'm like oh it's probably for uh devil trigger yeah. right no, it was the fucking, the DMC Devil May Cry music from Combo Christ that I played during the stream. It's too big to leave See cleavage him. in the back seat? Yeah, probably. Stay alert. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Icky Vicky, what the fuck? I love the stupid, like, free DLC arms that they gave Nero in this game. <laughs> so ridiculous. Like the pasta breaker, the Mega Man arm, the fucking uh, a banana arm. <laughs> what the God damn it. You predicted this game was going to happen for the start. DMC is basically a reboot of the series. Um, kind of. They sort of decided to let uh, Western developers take their own stab at it to kind of breathe new life into the series. <laughs> but it uh, it was largely pretty much not liked very much. At least, I don't know. Like, I've said my piece about it a few times. My own personal opinion is that it's not really a bad game. I just don't think it vibes really well as a Devil May Cry game. Place the original. You've only played DMC one through four. Truthfully, I 
I've only beaten DMC uh one, two, and five. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know makes me some kind of weirdo. <laughs> ah, fuck. Three is good. Yeah, I, I know three is good. I've heard tell a lot about it. I believe it. Four isn't that either. A bit weird. I've played a tiny bit of four. DMC Devil May Cry is the best one. <laughs> God damn it. Rise. Also, hey, Rise. Oh, yeah, no. Actually, DMC Devil May Cry is one of the other ones that I've actually played all the way through. DMC 2. <laughs> Never heard of it. Didn't happen. No, I get you, Zero. I kind of wish it didn't happen myself. It's probably one of the pissiest entries in the Devil May Cry series. I only played DMC4 in this review thing. This one? Yeah, Devil May Cry 5 is wild, man. This game is awesome. I know other people swear by, like, DMC3 being the best. But for my money, it might actually be a DMC5. Ah, shit, I got hit anyways. Because I think this game... has great gameplay. You fucking love the characters in it. The story's actually pretty good, too. Well, the thing with 2 is that Dante's just kind of a brooding asshole. He's not the fun-loving, like, demon hunter that he is in other games. Also, the gameplay is kind of boring and really easy. I mean, I played through both stories in 2. I've got a pretty good grasp on it. 2 was your first? Oh. Well, I mean, that's fair enough. I get then why you uh, think it's really good. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Skeletor. What is wrong with being a brooding asshole? Because Dante's at his best when he's just being a fun-loving idiot. Honestly. That's another thing that I think is the reason why, like, the DMC game kind of missed the point. Because their Dante was just an asshole, basically. <laughs> jump, 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 and then fall off. Fun loving asshole in three. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Virgil's like, I'll kill you and become the ultimate demon and take over the world. And Dante's just like, hey man, when's pizza time? Pretty much. Three was what cemented his personality. Yeah, it kind of did. He's gonna slice the pizza is really great. Oh, come on! Just one more hit, really? You're gonna make me work for it like this game? <laughs> You're getting mega busted. Again. 
Get pasta breakered. Yeah! Pasta's done, bitch! Do the mouse move was so much smoother than DMC1. I've beaten DMC1 a bunch. <laughs> Biggest asshole in DMC Devil May Cry. <clears throat> they were all assholes in DMC Devil May Cry. I thought all the characters were unlikable in that one. Yo, <clears throat> ladies away. Got any questions for? Her? Better make it fast. All right. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We could use that. Pick it up. Well, I mean, combat and everything's fine, but I, if the story really works alongside it, it makes everything better. I love that he's still wearing the pasta breaker in this cutscene. He's got a little fork hand, just a little tiny fork hand. <laughs> then it makes it all the better. Fucking S rank. Did you know if you defeat the guy in the start, the game just ends? I did know that. I like that you get an extra picture if you do like S rank on these. Which is, it's kind of funny, but it's pretty, pretty much something you can only feasibly do on New Game Plus mode, realistically. Like, I think you can even suplex him out of his chair with uh, Nero's Devil Buster if you do it right. I remember that. But I don't know what happened to Dante. Damn it. You can't travel through here in the car. Yeah, I know. We're just waiting on you. There's only one way up that trick. The only thing, the only kind of slight failing of this game, I'd say, is that, uh, Lady and Trish, so well. are these well-established DMC I'm characters, who, on their own, may not be as strong, but do have power somewhat comparable to Dante's, and in this game, they basically just get slapped aside. And left to sit around in a van Stop. naked Enough talking. <laughs> while everybody else Some puts in work. I know. I thought this <laughs> that was a little bit of a shame. Like, really? Just put on some clothes, Wait, man. Up. Just told to get some rest. Oh, you were just told to get some rest? Well, we need to make a pack. So start digging. I know your own on, regular get outfit get up, get still up, kind up. of barely passes for what when we consider clothes, for but digging? at least put something on still. Booba! Right? <laughs> uh I wanna keep playing as Nero. <laughs> is more fun. I feel like I'm actually doing something with Nero rather than with V where I'm just kind of standing back wiggling around as my fucking panther and bird do all the work. Uh, I need more overtures. Yeah, that'll work. The Gerbera. Um... I will use a ragtime. Usually not good at keeping those for long when I'm using them, but whatever.
I don't know. Maybe I just like DMC One though, because uh, that game was originally supposed to be a Resident Evil game, and they just kind of retrofitted it into a hack and slash game that became Devil May Cry. The oh, the ragtime. Uh, they can be useful at times if you do it right, which I am not good at doing. It's the one that ends with me in a mall. Starring the DMC crew. That means a uh, an online player was not selected to fight alongside me. Ah, uh, lizard mans. Was this supposed to be? Oh, this was supposed to be their first introduction. Wait, I always forget, I'm playing on Son of Sparta mode, so these guys have been attacking me for a while now. What am I using? Pasta Breaker? Go, Pasta Breaker! <laughs> No, I lost my pasta breaker arm. Yeah. Rag time. I mean, <laughs> rag time is helping against these things. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Fully charged shot, what's that gonna do? Oh. I can actually shoot out the fucking time stop bubble on him. Also, the other thing that eternally annoyed the crap out of me when I was playing DMC Devil May Cry <clears throat> is that in Devil May Cry 1, the main bad guy's name is Mundus. Mundus, that's what they call him. It's because in, like, yeah, they just, it's his name. But in DMC Devil May Cry, they constantly call him Mundus. And I just, it, uh, <laughs> It makes me so angry because I'm just like, his name is Mundus. Mundus, goddammit! shit out of you.
<laughs> I don't know. It was a small thing to get hung up on. But it just... I guess it was mostly because I just... I don't know. I was already a little biased against that game. Again, I'll fully admit there were things I definitely enjoyed about it. None of it was the character's story. Oh shit. Well, there goes that arm. Bad. So where's Dante? L look at the title of the of the stream. He's taking a nap somewhere off screen. And that's honestly kind of not a joke. Dante Dante's uh Dante's sleeping it off. He had a rough time at the beginning of the game, so he's he's taking a power nap. We're kind of on our way to try to find Dante, try to figure out where he is. <laughs> we can hit once, I have urgent business! Don't worry. If you were afraid this was going to be a game without Dante, you'll be happy to know that <laughs> he will most certainly be here before long. You think it's like another couple of uh, chapters, though. Very busy and wake him at once. <laughs> okay, right, health is just red orbs if you're at full life already. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay. So there's a computer controlled bee in here somewhere. Bopping about as uh, his familiars do all the work. This was the right way. Nailed it. Nailed it. Push on yeah. ahead. Got rid of the enemy spawner. Fantastic. Get up in the air. Ah, oh, fuck. an appointment with Dante. Get him here right now. Ow, fuck. Getting slapped around. Ow! Excuse me, sir. I was pile-driving your friend 
That is very rude. Take a chill pill, guys. Take time out, as it were. Looking good. It's not that I'm actually trying to use them. I think these uh, ragtime hand is actually coming in pretty handy. Honestly, I love everything about this game. I think the characters are great. I love the combat. The music is fucking solid as shit. Just everything flat out. Like, and I'm not a terribly hard person to impress. So it's pretty easy to make me go, oh, this is fucking piece de resistance. <laughs> 10 out of fucking 10. <laughs> So I don't do grab commands on these guys, at least not on the ground, because they have one of the slowest, like, grab reaction states in the game, but, uh, I'll just fucking pelt them at the ground from the air, that works. do it for this guy though basically put him in a headlock and shoot the shit out of him I love that he power bombs these guys. Oh no, my hand! No! <laughs> my other hand! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that I could do this. Hell yeah! <laughs> Just flying around at the punchline, whatever. Come here! We power bomb you, fucker! <laughs> fucker! <laughs> I totally forgot I could just ride that around like a surfboard. Surf sip, dude! <laughs> Cowabungus! <laughs> run up to the top here because I don't feel like dealing with all that shit. 
Oh. Oh, fun. What better? Run to avoid the fucking escalator shit and end up fighting a bunch of, uh, these fuckers instead. These enemy spawners. Time to kill you. There you go. Come here. Going for a fucking ride. Gotcha. Looking good. Super stylish. I love playing as Nero in this game because I have probably the best handle on how he plays out of all of them. His, his whole fighting gimmick is pretty streamlined and easy to understand. It's not too hard to mix up a bunch of shit. Make it look really good. Ah, it's the Klyphoth tree. Is there a phone booth around here? There's one at Oh no, never mind. There be <laughs> phone booth when there's a bunch of these fucking roots everywhere. Are there more? No, no there's not. Okay. Smash it all down. Got it! Okay. Cool beans. Guess we're going down, are we? Ah, oh, yes, I remember what's coming up. This is a fun boss fight. <clears throat> up, up. Let's do it. This is one is neat because you actually do get um, two people fighting at the same time. Nice, getting the band back together, huh? <laughs> what evil lurks? I must destroy. I thought that was the plan all along. God, but you're such a fucking party pooper.
suplex. Come on. Get up here. Ugh. Suplex! Install Windows update manually. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Yeah, I'm right there with you. What the fuck? bad. Yeah, okay. I deserved that. <laughs> One second. Distract him, B. Distract him. Where are you? You're on the ground there. Yeah, eat that. I have no arms anymore. you going? Oh, you were going after fucking... After him. Yeah! Become a Linux user! <laughs> you stream, Cole? <laughs> oh, fuck. attacked once before is that so i was here i can still see it uh, yes in fact i was playing right here everyone died all around me such happy memories ah right now ubuntu 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 okay go ahead you're gonna miss all the fun no i must seek out the devil's sword sparta what 
Yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Trust me. You're not the only one who thinks so. But to win this fight, we're going to need all the help we can get. Haha, <laughs> Nero. I too know it's an You're awful idea, one. but I'm going anyways. <laughs> Stadia's also better than Steam. <laughs> What's Stadia, Rise? Seem to seem to remember something like that happening, and then everybody was very upset. Something like broken promises or it was just shitty from the outset, and then, and then nothing. <laughs> Stadia, it, Stadia was the fucking Ouya of this fucking generation, basically. Everyone was like, oh, it's gonna be amazing, it's, it's the future of gaming, and they came out and everyone's like, oh, this is shit, <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Bought your first game on Stadia. Oh, I am so sorry, Zero. <laughs> Actually, I imagine that since Europe has a stronger internet infrastructure, it's probably not as bad. But here in America, that shit is cursed. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Guess there's no point thinking about it. Perfect timing. Now we're starting to act like a team. I like that Nero was so yeah, sure she'd totally. stop there, but you could see it on her face that she thinks it's lucky that they stopped it all. Oh my god. So in some other dimension, that fucking uh, van turned to the side, and Nero was just standing there smirking, waiting for it to stop, and then it just fucking plowed into him and went right over the cliff. It costs seven, a zero euros because first work just gave you up to ten euros off. All right, on. <laughs> and they all died. Okay, so I love overtures, I like punchline. Pasta breaker just for comedic effect. Um, let's actually try to use the tomboy. Oh, I just remembered. Tomboy makes your stuff more powerful, but you can't actually lock on to anything when you're using it. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll use sweet surrender just for shits and giggles. And why not? I'll use the Gerbera too. I'll leave two open spaces for picking up some along the way. Oh, she would accidentally kill Nero after a boss fight. Like a 3% chance to get a game over. <laughs> that would be some sick and twisted shit. <laughs> ah, I dig it though. I'd be cool. <laughs> oh, look, ladies wearing clothes again. Uh, I'd be down for them odds. Just on the off chance that it actually fucking happens. And then I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> well, no point in turning back now. Not that that was ever an option. Oh boy, here we go. Time for some payback. Down into the fucking Clyphoth. All right. 
Just you wait, you little bastard. I'll drag you all the way down here. I don't think you need to drag him all the way down, isn't he? Like all the way down here and you're already? Come here. Get away from me. You'll resub to me when you survive Croatia. Uh, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I figured you guys were going to Croatia on vacation. If you really feel like it, you're under no obligation to ever. You don't owe me anything. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I've already resubbed to you! <laughs> oh, you guys are leaving this week? Okay, right, that's cool. Well, I hope you guys have a good time. Assuming it's a vacation thing, or even if it isn't. Hope just in general you guys are okay. afraid to even try to pronounce that word because uh, I don't know how to pronounce A's with umlauts over them. Go shoot an army. <laughs> when you can. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Oh, that's the assassin one. Got him. It's not even time for you to show up yet. Never stood a chance. Want to know how you played 13? Sure. How did you play 13, Cole? <laughs> Elevator. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. I guess we don't want to know, Cole. <laughs> or we do. No, it's cool. It's fine to be this close to a, a lava flow that goes in reverse. I want that Mega Buster. Rearm and repeat. Oh shit. I remember in the original 13, I uh, drew a throwing knife and stuck a guy right in the mouth. And when it did the close up, like, uh, 
comic panel view on his death, it looked like he was eating a lollipop. He made a virtual PC to post the original experience. Oh, okay. Got a meeting to go to. All right, man. Ow. <laughs> Love, uh, hope your meeting goes well. Dude, I don't like these futuristic elevators. You basically push yourself into a, a fucking pile of blood cells and they carry you through a tube. I've tried to think about that and it kind of, the thought of it kind of haunts me. Because I'm like, I'm not sure I'd be able to hold my breath long enough to get spat out on the other side. It's almost like salmon eggs. I guess it does look like a uh, pile of salmon eggs. I just figured they were really, really large red blood cells. Also, hey, Shade Man. Welcome in. <laughs> Everyone seems real interested in watching me play fucking DMC5 today. That's cool. <laughs> I enjoy that. Punchline. I'll get rid of Rawhide for Punchline. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you only have 100 gigabytes of space left. even hugged twice. <laughs> Dude, I have a, I too have a friend uh, that comes across as almost pure evil, but when he's really, really drunk, he's actually becomes ridiculously nice. To the point where you're like, oh, this... This isn't like you at all. <laughs> That's cool, Cole. Trying to get rid of Goatman fast, honestly. Come here. Okay, that takes care of him. Yeah, I forgot. It's just more of the same in the air. <laughs> Get mega busted. Well, he becomes an unstoppable monster. He has an iron chin. Okay, well, maybe if you're trying to box him. But when he gets really drunk, he always... He always turned into a really nice guy around me. And then he told me not to tell anyone that he was like that or else he'd kill me. <laughs> you guys, we could all be awkward together. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Your wheelchair for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, I appreciate that offer. Don't know if I'd take you up on it, but I appreciate it all the same. <laughs> Goat wizard. <laughs> what? How did I get here? Oh, hey, it's Map! Welcome in, Map! <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> Charge shot. <laughs> Is there another goat wizard? No. Do I want drunk coal? <laughs> Cool. You can be whatever you want here. <laughs> Drunk, sober, whatnot. As long as we're all treating each other with respect. <laughs> he rode the raid wave. Dude, this is the biggest audience I've had in a while. Holy shit. This makes me really fucking happy. You guys really love fucking DMC5. Or me. Or some combination of the two. Doesn't really matter to me too much. I'm having a good time. That's all that really matters. Guess this is just the benefits of actually, like, streaming more consistently. <laughs> well, I damn well know you can go into your weird persona, Cole. Back to Soul Hackers 2. I was watching Prinny play that a little bit yesterday. How are you liking that, Cole? Oh, that's what you meant by weird persona. Spit out. Okay. Poor Nero lost his pretty hand. Uh, I mean, he did and he didn't. I'm playing on, uh, on New Game Plus mode, on Son of Sparta mode. So he actually has his hand back now. It can just... They never really explain it, but I guess it just retracts so he can put on a robot hand. Love it. One of your favorite games of this year so far. Right the fuck on. That's cool. Like I said before, I've heard, like... Like, Soul Hackers uh, feels like a very niche Shin Megami Tensei title. Even though it won't be for everyone, it will definitely be for some people. So for like the mainstream reviewers who are like, I don't know who this is for, well it's definitely not for them. You like it even more than Elden Ring? Ooh. <laughs> Bold statement, I think. Please die. Oh, 
Wait, did I get the big one? Oh, I did. Cool. You'll judge me tomorrow? Why are you gonna <laughs> judge me tomorrow, Cole? Oh, you'll have Judge Dread by your side? I am. <laughs> Dude, I, uh. I know, was it. Is that Carl Urban in that one? The other, like, Dread movie is really good, and I've seen bits and pieces of it. But whenever I think of Judge Dredd, I can't help but ever think of, like, the cheesy Sylvester Stallone one. <laughs> that people don't really care for anymore. It's just like, I'm the law! <laughs> Where's the right way to go? And Winnie the Pooh is the punishment. <laughs> Winnie, Poo Winnie the Pooh is going to break into my house, break me open, and drink my blood. Like delicious, delicious honey. <laughs> yeah, okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> He'll do whatever he wants to do with me. <laughs> Blood is the new honey. I, you know, I don't think people that eat honey uh, agree with you. There no express elevators. Someone's <laughs> I'm just, just saying, just throwing that out there. I don't think uh, actual average and honey honey enjoyers actually would uh, rather put blood on their food. You want blood in your tea? <laughs> you fucking psychopath. <laughs> oh, I don't even need this on. Out of my way, Wimp. Right there. I gotta be quick about killing these goat wizards. Oh shit, it's these things. No, no, I want it. The goat wizards. The goat wizards! Going to get your nice evil drunken path? Okay. forgotten how to okay it's clicking in the left thumbstick but it only works in sometimes go with their deeds to die before I can handle hand hand thing handily oh what <laughs> Armbar. I mean, uh, fair enough. What else are you gonna possibly do to it? It's just his arm got jacked. <laughs> this is fucking. Oh, yeah, good. Fair enough. Armbar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
elevator. Where are we going? Something over there? Nah. It's not the right way. That way is further up. Up here? I mean, I guess this is where it drops me off, basically. Like, I did drink 30% vodka bottle rest of it. it was one. What the fuck? Jesus, man. Alright, here we go. Like, that's just grody. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> it's still coin operated and everything. You don't need it. You don't need to mix it with anything. This is straight vodka, whatever. <laughs> gulp, gulp, good times. <laughs> Holy shit, Cole. He just loves the thrill of almost getting run over by his own partner on a consistent basis. Cool, you're here. Now I can tell you that I don't actually need you. See ya. I'm not going the right way, am I? Oh, now I have to go back. It's going to be a little awkward. Oh, hey. I still don't need you, though. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Uh -huh. Get thrown, I guess. <laughs> Come here. Wasn't done with you yet. Ugh. Looking good. Who's coming out of that hole? <laughs> Another thing that's gonna die. Feed me. I suck. Excuse me? Not for much longer. <laughs> Wanna hear more crazy Cole stories? Always Cole. I live a pretty mundane life, so I really enjoy a, other people's fucking wild stories. Where's Dante? No body? Dried up Dante jerky? Nothing? You come here to die. Where's Dante? <laughs> How about some Dante bacon? I bet your parents didn't like you much. Cause your name sucks. I am without a name. No, you're not. Your name is fucking Arisen. You're risen. Absolute. Well, no name. I'll be sure to put that on your tombstone. You will suffer and die. <laughs> Funny if you just I'll show you dead weight. If you know some dude's name is like Gary, he's even wearing like a name tag that says Gary. You're like, hey Gary. And he's like, I have no name. <coughs> I am power.
Ow, fuck. Dude, he's giving me the business. This is looking like it might be a boss that I might have to actually put some effort into. I think I remember. Friend was about to get married. Your gift was an envelope with money and a note saying, This is not gonna work out! What the fuck? Dude, this is not ending well. Colin feelings have never been good friends. Oh, fuck. Oh, that did me. Okay. So I think what I'm attempting to do is, <laughs> I don't think I'm actually attempting to kill him at all. I think I'm just attempting to break his crystal once. I really went for it hard and it ended up like screwing me because I lost way too much life way too quickly. So instead, I'm just going to fucking go for it. Actually, I'm not going to worry about fighting these things. I'm just going to run up the way. It's whatever. Think it's good to be king, huh? Not for much longer. Douchebag, miss me? I was doing too much to him, so he fucking pushed me away. Much better this time. You can fuck right off, you risen. 
You hate this boss? Yeah, he's kind of a punk ass to me. Ow! <laughs> Oh no! Pasta breaker! Oh, he broke my pasta breaker. Fuck. Start to regenerate some health. Actually, what if I charge it? Will it just heal? Okay, yeah, it heals like a decent little amount of my health. Thank you. Ah, got him. Full equals risen equals B equals Virgil. That was actually way cleaner than the first time I tried it. It's about time I landed something. You're not even a demon, and yet you were able to hurt me. Fuck, now I look like an idiot. Now I'm angry. <laughs> it's basically what he just said. You will regret being born useless and human. I will show you Are those two things not mutually exclusive to you? Rage <laughs> mode. Well, let's see if you can accomplish either of those things. Even in, oh, I was about to say, even in slow motion I dodged it, but I totally didn't. Sorry, friend. Not today. <laughs> Actually, the Gerbera is really helping me stay mobile. Ow. Except for right there. <laughs> Dick! 
Oh. I played my fucking Uno reverse card there in slow motion. Dang, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Do you know anything about tentacle hentai, Nero? No! <laughs> The true despair and death starts now. Uh, what time is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Who dares interfere? I think this is probably going to be our stopping point right here. Did my joke. Oh, I get your joke. <laughs> oh. I understand the context of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you were talking about the tentacle anti thing. <laughs> you expanded on it also. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay. Take this. Watch this cutscene, go back to the uh, menu, and I think that's what we'll call it for today. Let me, uh. Yeah, I could have. Let me see who our options for raiding are <laughs> so we can keep this wa raid wave going. Bad news. Pick your poison. Which you want to hear first? <sighs> Just think. Um, bad news it is. Oh, we can drop in. Mm. See, she wants to invite you to her birthday party, but your phone is this. I see. Uh, <laughs> you're a smart one, Morrison. You notice the electric and water out too. I see. Pea soup is doing something. Nothing less. We can drop so in on her. <laughs> oh, I got a gig. Cash up front. Cash up front. This I like. The water needs turning on, and those toilets need flushing. Water, gas, and power. Coming out of your cut. You're a real agency. Coming out of your ass, Dante. Devil may cry. There's many options. Yeah, there's a whole lot of options. Morrison, I'll take you up on that gig, but only if you can get me out of that hellish birthday party. <laughs> Consider your RSVP declined. Meet your new client. Listen, uh, I'm gonna find a lady in Trish. Bring him in on this. What? Come on, you don't think I can handle this gig on my own? It's a big job. Life. Big job. Yeah, yeah we can. We could do Crimson Albedo. So, what's your name? He's I playing Bro no Tato, apparently. I am the two days old. Just kidding. You can call me V. <laughs> what kind of joke okay, is that? <laughs> I'm what two days old and I'm fully time? grown. I'm simply a newborn. I don't have a name. Ha ha. His joke. <laughs> Call me. Looks down at his book really hard. V. 
This is special. Special. But isn't it always okay. basically true so too, though, so Dante? This demon is your reason. Your reason for fighting. This I missed your scream name. fest earlier today. I did. He was trying to form the words of the name he was about to tell him, but it'd be funny if he was just... In reality, he just stood there and was like... <laughs> just making weird mouth noises at him for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> and then Dante just kind of stares at him and is just nodding. He's like, you know what? I'll do it. I'll take the job. <laughs> Alright, but yeah. That's uh... That's gonna be it for today. Or Prax. Uh, no, we'll we'll drop in on Albedo. He doesn't. He's he's less. Check out what he's doing. All right, everybody. I really hope you all had a good time today. Uh, I appreciate everybody showing up. The bits, the subs, the follows. I'm glad everybody had a great time. <laughs> You too. Everybody else stay awesome as well. Now I shall see you next time. Bye.